Okay, at this point, um, before we put on the, the Generation 4 electronics, we should have the structure built. Um, all the motors should be installed. The um, Z axis motor, the Y axis motor, and the X axis motor on the bottom. We should have the new um, Generation 4 hot end um, assembled and installed. And uh, the first thing we will be putting on is the, is the main board, which is the Arduino Mega. And we'll probably place it, I'll, I'm going to be placing it somewhere in this location so it can access the, the power supply easily. And if the uh, builder wants, it can um, create something underneath so the power supply can be um, situated underneath and still have enough room to, to connect to the, um, the Arduino. The extruder controller will be mounted in this location. Um, the stepping motor controller will be, uh, for this stepping motor, will be mounted in this uh, location as well. The X motor controller will be situated underneath and the Y axis motor controller will be somewhere in the rear of the, of the machine. And, and as well as the Z axis. The Z axis and the Y axis can be located probably in the back here. You can see I put a hinge just to make it easier to, to access the electronics. Okay, before I install the Arduino, I'll need to know how much clearance I have with the, the motherboard. So I'm gonna put that together just slightly, just to see how much room I have. It'll probably be, I can go as low as this, which I kind of don't want to go since this is too close to the ground. So I'll probably position it around here. And I can see that it's, the Arduino is position close to these two holes so and making sure that these the holes for the Arduino will be clear of any other um, obstacles or other holes that may be around. You also want to be careful with any fasteners that are already on any metal pieces that may short out any of the um, electronics so you want to get it as far away as possible and we'll be using spacers like this so it will be able to if it was going to go on top of some of these it would clear it. So once we find the location, we're going to mark the holes and drill a small pilot hole or a small hole and go ahead and screw it in. To fasten this board to the wood of the structure, I'm going to be using these wood screws and so the smallest things I could find to actually um, use with these um, holes, these are number four wood screws, um, they'll fit these holes pretty easily. <clears throat> number sixes will not, they'll be very tight. You can probably use them, but it'll be really tight in those holes. Um, but the one problem with this board is that because of the standard headers for the Arduino, the number four head is actually pretty big. Probably be better off getting something long enough, um, maybe number four, uh, Allen wrench screws uh, to, to fit through this little area and get them long enough that they would be able to have a spacer behind this board and go through the wood at the same time which is this is three quarter inch thickness and you'll probably ha have no problem doing that but as I don't have those long screws I'm going to be using wood screws what I do to make this fit within this area is I just file down the head of the screw if you're going to use a, a standard number four screw with a pan head you may have to file down the the head to, to allow it to fit within this area. You'll have these one, two, three, four um, locations to mount the, the board. Okay, my orientation is gonna be this way. So, so first I'll make some pilot holes so these can um, get started and we'll fasten the, fasten the board down to the wood. Now take the motherboard and make sure all of the pins are straight and just add it to the Arduino Mega. So now we have the motherboard 
installed. We'll go ahead and start with uh, the stepping motors and we'll start with the x-axis motor first. So I'll probably just put the, the motor driver right next to the motor. So here is the x-axis motor and a good place to put the driver is in this location since we have enough room. Here is the driver and this is the the cable that will need to go to the motherboard so we can put that close to the motherboard on this side and then the motor wires will be connected to these four um, headers. We'll start by marking the holes for the, uh, this one won't work, but we'll have three holes to work with uh, to get it installed on the, on the machine. Some of the holes went in at an angle. I'm gonna see if I can straighten those out as I install the, the board. One thing to note when you're installing the x-axis motor driver, make sure it's uh, it's above this plane. So when you stand it up, it won't put any strain on this uh, on this board. Okay, we will add the the Z and Y axes next. The stepping motor drivers will. This is the Y axis, and it'll. Um, the Y-axis motor driver will be on this back plate as along with the Z-axis stepping motor driver. They'll both be in this location so it gives it uh, very close access to the actual motors. These motor drivers are small enough to actually both fit on one side. So I'll be putting them on this side, which is relatively close to the, the motherboard. So these uh, ribbon cables don't have to be as long.
Now we have the ZNY stepping motor drivers attached to the machine. We'll go ahead and start with the extruder controller and add the stepping motor driver on the Z-axis assembly. To keep the wiring relatively tidy, I'm going to put the stepping motor controller on the bottom at this location and the extruder controller will be positioned at the top here. So the motor, uh, the stepping motor will be wired directly to these four pins and then the stepping motor controller will be wired directly to the interface for the um, for the driver, for the stepping motor driver at this location and the, or actually I could do it this way, and the thermos or the um, thermocouple will be wired to this location from here and the resistor wires will be located at the heater. From this location, we'll have the connection directly to the, um, the motherboard from this location going around. And if we need to do any, any firmware updates, we can just plug the computer into this point. Now we're ready to put on the extruder controller. We'll put that in this orientation. So at this point, you should have the extruder controller installed on the machine, the extruder stepping motor driver for this stepping motor. The motherboard should be installed um, in a location that gives good access to the, the power supply. And the X-axis uh, motor driver should be installed next to the X-axis motor. And the Y and Z drivers are installed in the back plate or wherever it's convenient for the the Z and Y motors.